Okay, you're going to be creating a uh, David Hockney inspired digital landscape painting in Pixelar. Um, you're going to be choosing a photograph of an outdoor scene. It has to be a photograph, not a drawing, painting, or illustration, and it must be a landscape, meaning mostly natural elements. So it can have like a building or a or like a boat or something, but it mostly should be outdoors, um, like natural things. Um, you're going to be using that photo that you find as a reference for your painting. Um, the big thing here is you're going to be drawing from observation. In another video, I will do a demonstration on how to approach that. Um, the expectations for the painting, um, your colors should not be exactly realistic. Let's look at David Hockney's example. This is one of his iPad paintings. Notice that the grass and the sky are kind of a, a normal color, but notice the trees that are blue, and then these leaves right here are purple, as is this tree trunk. Um, so you've got a mix of realistic and unrealistic colors, so that's an expectation for your assignment. Your painting needs to include a variety of textures that enhance the natural objects they represent. So looking at the David Hockney example here, I want you to notice the textures that he uses in his work. Um, his grass, his um, leaves here, this is the texture. The um, lines that represent the bark here, that's a texture. Um, all of the branches back here, the repeating pattern. Even the, um, the bushes here with this repeating pattern it has. Those are all textures that um, enhance the natural objects. So your painting needs to have texture in it like that. You also need to use shading to show lights and darks in your painting. He does this by layering multiple times. Similar to how we did when we did the landscape painting, the practice together, um, where I had you do um, a, a color and then I had you make a darker shade of that color and paint on top of it to make like dark areas. I want you to notice um, that his paintings are not flat. They have a lot of um, shading, um, texture, and depth. And finally, your painting should show depth using atmospheric perspective. Here's a review of what those things are that we learned about on our practice that we did together. And notice the depth that he has in his painting here. Okay, in my next video I'm going to show you how to go about picking your um, um, picture and starting to draw it.